You're making this up to make me feel worse. No, we're not making it up. We're not lying to you. That seems to be your expertise. When we left the hospital, Leanne was suffering from internal bleeding, and she was half conscious. I have to get to the hospital. Andy. Andy, you're not going anywhere. You have become what is called a public menace. And if Leanne doesn't make it, you could be guilty of manslaughter. I don't care about myself. I've got, I've got to get to the hospital. So you can see Tom in the depths of despair, praying that his daughter will live. All the other people who love Leanne are trying to make some sense of the fact that someone that they've loved and respected is responsible for stealing this van and using it to maim and mutilate, maybe even murder. You know, I think Tom or Duke might just go for your throat if they saw you anywhere near the hospital, and I can't say that I would really blame them. But maybe it would be a good thing for you to go down to the hospital and take a look at all the sorrow and the grief and the rigmarole that you've caused with your selfishness. On the other hand, it might be good to stay right here in jail so that you get a good idea of what the next few years of your life could be like. I, I can't blame you for feeling this way or saying these things, but you gotta help me. Mom, you gotta help me. Mom? Why? Because you're my son? What are we supposed to do? Forget about all the lies you've told and the crime you've committed? That's not important? Oh, no, no, of course not. That's not important. What's really important in your life right now is alcohol. Never mind about the people you've heard in the life. These are lives you are playing around with, you and your stupid alcohol. I find it kind of strange, Andrew, that you should be asking for our help now. After you've done nothing but reject our help for the past few months. I'll tell you, Andy, it's been a little like hell. You know, we're covering for your bad checks. We're apologizing to these strangers, total strangers, for your selfish acts. But there's got to come a time, Andy, when even your parents say, that's it, we've had enough. And I think that's where your mother and I are right now. We offer you our love. We offer you our help. Both of these things you throw right back in our face. We talk to people who are experts on your disease and they tell us that our health doesn't matter unless you want to help yourself. Well, I believe that finally. But Andy, I don't think you want to help yourself. You want to destroy your life and now you're taking along a lot of innocent people with you. I do want to help myself. Dad, I want to detox. How long is that going to last, do you suppose? I mean, you're afraid now, and you've got every good reason to be afraid, but when that's over, what then? Does this whole thing start all over again? No! Your mother and I don't believe a word you say, Andy, and it's not because we don't want to. It's because of your track record. We won't. We can't. This is very tough stuff. Accepting the fact that our son is guilty of a criminal act. How do we get through that? In spite of everything that you've done, I still love you. But loving you doesn't change what you've done. And we have got to let you go. And you have got to face the consequences of the laws you have broken. I pray with all of my heart that Leanne pulls through. Even if she does, you are going to have to spend the rest of your life knowing you could just as well have killed her on the spot. I don't envy you that. Am I going back to the hospital? What's going to happen to me? It's up to the authorities now. The police tell us that we could get you a lawyer. We could go before a judge. We could post bail. And you could be released. 
But your mother and I have decided that we're not going to do that. I would suggest that you spend the time here taking a long, hard look at your life. Look at me! Stop hiding behind lies and empty promises. Find out if you've got the courage to be honest with yourself. I don't want you trying to cheer up my patient by making her laugh. Why not? That was my whole plan here. Yeah, well, Casey you did that so you can forget it. You know, it's too hard on her stitches and her wrist. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Got you it. Like that? I'll watch it. Not funny. Is it okay for you to smile? You know, they told me that you stayed here all last night till I got a surgery. Yeah, I did, and so did a lot of other people, you know. Yeah. So how do you really feel? Well, there's a little pain, um, but I'm just happy to be alive after. Have you seen Andy? Yeah, I did. I uh, was over at the jailhouse last night. You know, Leanne, he really does feel terrible about what he did. Oh, I wish I could see him. Do you know what's going to happen? Well, not for sure, but I uh, got Jessica to defend him. Aunt Kim and John sort of feel that they should be playing the tough love act, but I don't know, I just couldn't sit by and watch them go through this all alone. Good for you. You know, my father said that he's going to go before the judge at uh, noon today. Today? I didn't know it was going to be that soon. He must be over there now. You know, Pa, I really love seeing you, but uh, could you go down to the courthouse so that Andy can have a friend there? You never cease to amaze me, you know that? Well, you're up. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Yeah, bye, bye. Bye. You know, I think an angel was with you last night. Mm -hmm. I also think that you're an angel. The way that you're thinking about Andy. Andy, I didn't know the hearing started so early. How'd it go? Uh, I'm waiting for them to give me my sentence. Were you guys in there? Yes. Paul, thanks for getting Jessica for me. And uh, I'll pay you back. Hey, the all the legal fees. Don't worry about it. The only way you can pay me back is by getting straight. Have, have you heard from Leanne today? I just came from the hospital. Uh, she's actually the one that told me that you were over here. She's very worried about you. She's worried about me. After what I did. The judge is ready to pass sentence now. 